My guests today say they're here for revenge and not even our security can hold them back. Well, <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Please meet Crystal. She says she's here to settle the score. Crystal, what's going on? Well, Jerry, I'm here today because my husband is a drunk and he's been acting like a dumbass. Why'd you marry him? <laughs> he wasn't that stupid when I married him. <laughs> <laughs> so marriage made him stupid, huh? I guess so. Yeah. Well, a few months ago, uh, he came home and it wasn't even noon yet and he was yeah. falling down stupid drunk. Yeah. And he had a half gallon of whiskey and I, I have a little <laughs> tiny baby and I told him that he had to go, that there is just no need for that. Yeah. And when he left, I wanted to see where he was going, so I followed him. Yeah. And he went straight to the town whore's house. I jumped out of my car. The town I, whore, is that, it's like, like a title? She gets the title? Yes. Everybody knows. Everybody knows one. who she is and where yes. she is? Absolutely. And, 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 and what town is this? <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> No, because I travel sometimes, but anyway. So. so when I got there, I naturally jumped out of my car, ran in there, started wanting to whoop her ass, but yeah. she t as soon as I come at her, she said, oh, I'm pregnant. So I backed up, but they had already called the cops, and I went to jail. Yeah, oh, okay, so. So, but now, where's your husband now? Is he back with you? Yes, yes, I Oh, so he is back with you? Yes, well, I took him back. Well, uh, then what's the problem anymore? Well, well, first she, of all, why did you take him back? Well, I took him back because we have a child together. Yeah. And she, they were staying together for a while, like yeah. over a month. They stayed together in a tent they over by the river because they didn't have nowhere to go. <laughs> they were running scared, hiding from me. So your husband l got drunk, left you for this other woman, and they live in a tent by the river. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. But he came back, I guess. He, he can't swim or what? <laughs> <laughs> Mosquitoes? Yeah, so he's back. Yes, he wiggled his way in, saying he wanted to see the baby, and I let him come around, and I really do love him, yeah. so I wanted to give him another chance. Now, is this other woman still in the picture, or is she back in her tent by the river? She's back in her tent, as far as I know. She's been hiding from me. I've been trying to find her and get my hands on her. And she's just been running scared. Yeah. So, oh, who is this? Uh, Ashley is her name? Ashley is her name. Well, let's meet Ashley. Yeah. You stupid bitch. Your man called me last week when he was drunk and came over to my house. Your oh, tent. Not to my tent, to my house. Oh, yeah, right. You know you're still okay. living in that tent. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're not you're gonna get, I don't You're not getting in between my family. I love my husband. I and have he nothing loves to do me. with that. He's the one that calls me. He's the one that calls me and comes around me. I have nothing to do with you or your family. You're coming in between my family. My family is first. I love him. You are not. You will not. You want to come between us? Let's go now. What? Let's go. <laughs> So, why, if you know, yeah, if you know that he's married to her, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you have just said, why wouldn't you have just said, hey, uh, stay away from me? He looks like a little kid. I didn't know he had a wife and a kid. Oh, he never told you? No. Well, then, if he never told her, why are you angry at her? How could she know? She didn't come to my house. She didn't. She came to your tent. I, she didn't go to my tent. Oh. I'm not playing games with you. This is serious. I have a little baby that we take care of. 
then we are going to be a family. You need to talk you to your husband your about that. Right. Thing. You need to keep your little slut ass back in your tent by the river where you belong. You need to shut the hell up because I don't want your husband. He wants me. Oh, wait. Keep your hands off my husband. <laughs> you meet how did you meet her husband or how did he meet you he was friends with one of my guy friends I see okay and so you so you knew him and then but you didn't know that they were married no because he lives a totally different That's life. A lie. you knew he was married okay Everybody if I know he's married I would have been around him because I don't want to deal with you I don't want to deal with you let's meet Jake You know I like to drink. We had fun. We stepped by the river in our tent. We watched the stars. You don't get drunk past that Ain't nothing that with more me. important than our child. And our family, I thought that's what you wanted in life. You got too many rules for me. I can't live by too all Too many rules? Oh, my God. If you want to be with us, Jake, I mean it. You've got to straighten up. I'm tired of this low life, skank slut, sleeping around, going to the river, thinking life is just a freaking party. Because it's not. It's real. Well, I don't, maybe we had a Tell lot of fun. Tell her what you told me. Tell her what you told me. How much you had fun with me. How you well, hate being around her. Okay, let's see. What, what do you... We had lots of fun, Jerry. We got drunk. We passed out by the water. So far, this... <laughs> I mean, and... I tell you. And I want to be with her. I tell you, you know how to have fun. And I, I want to be with Ashley. You want to do what? I want to be with Ashley. We have all this fun, and you just want me to stay at the house and be stuck and I can't do that. Have you been messing with her since that night? Yeah. You've been... <laughs> Touch yourself. You ain't nothing but a low life. You ain't never gonna amount to nothing. We'll go back to our care of your wife I and your you... kids. Do you want to be with me? Yeah, I like our little tent by the river. Don't you? Yeah, I guess. But you have a kid to take care of. You can't just stay it by a tent at the river. I love my kid, but, you know, I mean, my wife don't want to stay in no tent with me, and we, she don't like getting drunk. <laughs> don't you like getting drunk and just passing out by the river and talking yeah. kinds of stuff? Yeah. Are you listening to yourself? Yeah, Jerry. Jerry, I just can't, I just can't stay up in, in the house all the time, Jerry. It just ain't my thing, you know? I, I love well, my wife. Well, why weren't you thinking about that before you had a baby with her? Well, well, why Jerry, did you ask her to marry you then? Because we were drunk. And, uh, and were we you, was having lots of were fun. Were you drunk when you got married? No, we wasn't drunk then. Okay. Well, that's a good sign. And, uh, I mean, she, first she always wanted to get drunk, and then she didn't want to drink no more, and I like well, to drink, and I like to continue to drink, and I'm not going to change just because, you know, she wants me you to. You won't even change because you have a kid? Uh, I mean, I would for the kid, but... I can't do it just because she wants me to, you know? But you have a kid now. Yeah. So is any part of you want to be responsible and say, you know, it's time for me to grow up. I got to have a child. I have to be a good father. Do you yeah. ever think of that, or is that just foreign? Yeah, I mean, I want to be a good father and stuff, but, I mean, I don't have, I don't have to be at home to be a good father. <laughs> I mean, my, my baby will love me because I'm her daddy. This is what you're Jerry, saying. I told you he was a dumbass. <laughs> Jerry, I am a man. I, I go to work and stuff, and I, I buy stuff for my baby, and my baby loves me. We spend good quality time together. But I can't, I can't, I can't be with her. I mean, I can't abide by all them rules and regulations. And what is a particular rule? What is one of the rules that really gets under your skin? Well, I, I have to stay at home all the time, and, you know, I, I want to run around with my buddies. And, and she always wants me to clean, and, you know, she's the wife. She's supposed to clean. Oh. 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 Okay, if you could just, no, this is good. If you could just explain to the uh, women out there why it's their job to clean. They'd like to know. Because men, we go to work and we support y'all. Y'all are supposed to stay home, take care of the kids, <laughs> clean. Okay, okay, all right, okay, okay. 
Is there some woman in the audience that would like to respond to his... Uh, yeah, one second. Stand over here. Yeah, if you would come, come with me. No, this is good. You know, no one's going to hit you. No, this is good. You come up here. Now you stand there. And you stand there. Now he thinks that someone of your gender ought to be doing the cleaning. What, what, and you both have a balloon, so this is fair. Uh, what, what do you want to say to him? I work from 6.30 to 2.30 every day, and I pay my bills by myself, and you don't look like you do anything. You need to take care of that baby and quit sleeping with that whore. Yes, now you can go and sit back You're down. Right. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, in seriousness, the young lady who was up here had an awfully good point. Where do you get off saying that it's the woman's job to clean? I believe a man should do all the work and a woman should What stay work are you doing? Jerry, I fix 18-wheeler tarps for a living. So you make tarps for 18-wheelers? Yes, sir. Yeah. Did you uh, did you use any of those tarps to make a tent? No, I bought the tent. No, you didn't. Okay, I'm just checking. You don't. Now you've seen that how bright he is. Uh, is this someone you want to be with? No, not if you can't take care of a kid. And didn't tell me about it. If he was a man, he would have told me about it. He didn't tell me about it. Well, you didn't ask. I gotta ask you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, most people ask, you know, if you're married or have a kid, but not you. You look like a little kid. <laughs> you, know, it, it, you were just easy, you know? You wanted to sleep in my tent and everything. Your tent? Wait a second, whose tent is it? It was my uncle's tent. I borrowed it from you him. You borrowed your uncle? <laughs> but Jerry, it's a good tent. Why would you go and sleep with him in a tent? Because I could bring him to my house. Why can't you bring him to your house? Because I couldn't, because... Because I just couldn't bring him to my house. Oh, because, oh, okay, something's going on in your house. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what are you going to do? You're going to take him back? He don't want me. He don't want to be the man of our house. He doesn't want to be my husband. He doesn't want to be the father that I want him to be. I do. I just don't want to live by all these rules. I want to come home. I want to get drunk. I want to come home to a clean house with my meals cooked for me. And I want you to take oh my off my boots and so I can just sit and enjoy the rest of my evening because I work hard. I'm willing to do all that if you're willing to be the father to my child and leave these stupid whores alone. Quit running the streets and be a father because I love you, Jake. I love you so much. Oh. I wouldn't have brought you here. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been chasing her down all the time. I wouldn't go time. through all of this if I didn't love you. I, I believe in my heart that you have the potential to be a good man if you would just let all the bull go. Uh, then why do you bitch so much? Because you just can't get right. Well, I don't want to hear all that. I don't tell you, you need to get right. I got mine together. I know what I'm doing. Oh, whatever. And then you should have the house cleaned every day when I come home. I don't want to have to bring her back out here. Okay. Please don't, Jerry. Yeah. She's hard on me. All right. Uh, what are you doing with that balloon? Okay. I think I'm going to take it home with me. And do you get your meals cooked for you and stuff when you come home after you work a hard day? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I go out to eat. When it comes to food, I make reservations. Uh, so you don't want it. No one wants to be with him anymore. So you're out on your own. You're, if you're not going back to your wife, she's not taking you back. I guess I'll go back to my wife, Jerry, if she'll take me back. You'll we'll be back. Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.